Um, what do these foam cells do? They're quite important in um, the progression of atherosclerosis, and they actually do. Um, they actually excrete a couple things. Um, what they excrete um, or produce or bring to is something called cytokines, as well as plate let derived growth factors alright so um, because they produce cytokines and platelet derived growth factors um, this does a couple of things for one the cytokines actually cause more endothelial damage <laughs> and the process goes more and more it's a bit of a vicious cycle um, and also combine the cytokines and the platelet derived growth factors um, so which are being produced out here just draw them like that yeah all these are in here what that does is that causes the migration of smooth muscle cells so if you imagine in here um, in the media there's a lot of smooth muscle cells and it actually causes these smooth muscle cells which might draw like this to enter into the intima um, where they proliferate so it causes migration pros proliferation of smooth muscle cells okay so that's the next point um, that's the next big step and these smooth muscle cells are very important in the formation of your actual um, atheroma plaque so the foam cells are kind of behind the more so behind the fatty streaks which are comparatively benign um, but the proliferation of the smooth muscle cells um, is more to do with the actual plaques um, and all that so what happens here well a couple of things um, the main thing is that they cause the these muscle cells cause produce something called the extra cellular matrix cellular matrix which is mostly collagen plus elastin so they're producing this, um, oh, which I'll draw in pink. Oh, I already got something in pink, which I'll draw in green. So they're producing this. Yep. So that's what these smooth muscle cells are producing this. Um, and at the same time as this is going on, you're still getting more and more um, LDL cholesterol fat in the intima so more and more of this this is also expanding the um, is expanding the intima into the lumen Oops. so you're getting more and more Essentially, crap in, into the ear, into the intima. Um, so bear with me while I draw. So at the same time, you're getting more and more of the LDL and fat in the in the intima. When more and more um, macrophages taking up the fat. Um, a big mess here and more and more proliferation of smooth muscle cells um, which I'll just draw. and you can see this is kind of expanding the the intima into the lumen um, so I'll draw it even more it doesn't it's expanding out you still have your endothelial cells but they're quite quite 
damaged. I just kind of draw them like this. Okay, and so this is all more and more fat. And this stuff is fibro. I mean, um, this fat is thrombogenic. Thrombogenic. Lipid. So what I'm drawing here is a thrombogenic lipid core. So that's all. Of this is sort of um, all kind of contributing. I'll just draw the um, so you now you have your thrombogenic lipid core and this extracellular matrix um, full of collagen and elastin is also making a Fibrotic cap, fibrotic cap, and this covers the thrombogenic um, lipid core. So I'll draw it out here. Can you imagine that all this crap is still getting stuck in here? This is uh, all the lipids and all the smooth muscle cells in here. Um, it's made up of. And I'll draw a few some bit of smooth muscle as well. There you go. And then you have your fibrotic cap around this, and that's produced by the extracellular matrix. And it's at this point that this is your atheroma. So this is you now have atherosclerosis. It is a fibrotic cap um, covering a thrombogenic lipid core. And that is your atherosclerosis. And that's the real basics of it. In my next video, I'll actually explain what happens when this uh, cap degrades and this thrombogenic lipid core is exposed to the blood. Alright, thank you.